hey, if you're building an audience for your business, you better have a CRM tool like MailChimp, MailerLite, or HubSpot. Today, I'm going to show you how you can connect any third-party CRM to your Webflow custom forms. Okay, so this is my personal sign-up form for what for my code snippets library. If you put webbay and something like test at gmail.com and I press enter, you can see it goes to please wait and then I get this thank you page. And I use MailerLite. I like this, I like the pricing. It seems better than uh, MailChimp. It has all the stuff I need for it. And uh, it's just a lot less cumbersome than using HubSpot, I found. This is the simplified form that we'll use for the project. It's unstyled so that we can focus on the process. The other thing we're gonna be using is FinSuite's attributes for form submit. This is a free tool offered by FinSuite, and I'll show you a couple of the different attributes we're gonna use to get the custom functionality that we want. Okay, so right now I have a blank Webflow project with nothing in it. Let's go ahead and copy this contact component from my component library, and we're gonna drop that into the page here. I should just delete. So get rid of contact one form wrapper, I don't need that. And then with the grid, I'm just gonna get rid of this column, and that's good for what we'll need. Now, the first thing to notice on the form component, if we go into settings over here, let me zoom in one, we have an action and a URL. Right now, we don't have any custom actions. So when we submit, if somebody comes in and submits a name and email address, it's just gonna go straight to the Webflow servers, which we get, I think it's 50 per month um, on the basic plans. So we don't wanna do that though. We want a custom action. And the custom action that we're gonna get is from the form in MailerLite. So, this is MailerLite, this is the dashboard. In whatever platform you're using, you're looking for some sort of option to create forms. This is what we want, forms. So we'll call this like YouTube test form. And I'm gonna create an embedded form. So we'll save and continue. For subscriber groups, I'm gonna use a test YouTube subscriber group here. I'll make a new group. My new group name will be test YouTube. Let's create that. Continue. So now MailerLite is building out my form. And this only has an email, so I'm going to add one field, and I'll call it name. I'll bring that up. And we don't need to change anything here, but notice the field input type. Uh, the email, I think, defaults to email, and they don't let you actually even remove that one. So we'll go ahead and save that and say done editing. Now MailerLite or whatever platform you're using is gonna generate a form for you that you could probably send with the share URL. So if I copy that and open a new tab and paste that, you'll see I have a really basic form similar to what we have and it has the same fields that we're gonna be using on our form. The other option is down here back in the dashboard if you go to HTML code, this is the HTML code that you could drop directly into the website, but it's gonna drop this form exactly and that's not what we want. We wanna be able to custom style our form in Webflow. But what we're looking for is the form action. So I just hit control F and I searched action. And this is showing up in the HTML code here. I would copy and paste that, or I'll show you another way to get it, is that we're gonna inspect this element here. And I'm just gonna inspect the form. And now we're looking here for form. Let me zoom in again one more. So here's the form that we're looking for. And we're looking for something with an action. Here's the form that we want. So you notice it has the form tag here and the action equals, and that's just gonna give you a URL. So let's go ahead and copy that and come back to our Webflow project. And we're gonna paste the action and we're gonna change the method to post. Okay, once we've added the action to our form, there's a couple other things we need to do before we can set this up correctly. First, we're gonna go back to the form here and we're gonna get the names from the name and the email fields. Each of these have a specific name that we can see here in our um, Chrome inspector. So I'm gonna copy that, come back to Webflow, and name, I'll just drop that here in the name settings area, and then email address, I'm gonna do the same thing. Copy, paste. Okay, so those are there. And one last thing to know about MailerLite is that it has this double opt-in feature for forms. And so this is on by default. I'm gonna turn this off, and all that's gonna do is prevent sending a confirm email address. I, I recommend keeping this on to keep your uh, subscribers, your subscriber forms healthy, like basically making sure people aren't signing up with bogus emails. So we'll turn that off for now, just for the sake of this demo. And back in Webflow, I'm gonna publish. And now I'm going to open the page and we'll say uh, Keegan and Keegan at gmail.com. Well, 
let's say test at gmail.com. I don't know who Keegan at gmail.com is. And now we've got this message, success equals true. Let's go back to MailerLite and check on our subscriber group to make sure that our subscriber came in. Looking here, we can see we've got test at gmail.com with the name of Keegan. So that's great. However, it's this is a little bit less than desirable. And what happens is when we provide a custom form action in Webflow, it overrides the web, Webflow has some JavaScript that overrides normal form submission. And that goes away when we provide a custom form action. So it's redirecting to the success page on MailerLite. Now we wanna keep our users on our website. And unfortunately, even adding something like, you know, redirect to slash thanks. And here I built a simple thank you page. This won't work because this code won't get run. So if I publish, we would expect it to redirect us to thanks but Webflow doesn't send us any note or anything. Uh, here, let me just go through here that that's happening. Keegan2 and test2 at gmail.com. We get still get the same page. And test2 is going to show up within our subscriber list here. So we have test2.com, but we still want to customize that. And for this, we're going to use the FinSuite form submit attributes. So first step, is to copy this script into our file. So let's go here on home. I'm going to go into settings and right up here, I've got it pasted in. So that's great. So we'll go ahead and close that. And the second step is to implement in Webflow. First thing we do have to do this, this one here form. I want this form block to get the custom action. So it must be added to either form block or form element. So I'll go ahead and copy this and I need to give it a value of form back in Webflow. I'm in my form. I'm going to get a custom attribute here. Just paste that. And this is form. And the one we want is we want this enhance. And this enhance is what lets us um, reuse JavaScript to actually submit the form data. And we're going to reuse that JavaScript and then provide a redirect. So if we look, we see enhance equals true does a custom JavaScript form selection. Data is sent to the form action with JavaScript. The user still sees everything working natively, though in the background it is not. So let's just get the like a native um, kind of behavior working first. And that's just true. And I'm going to click here, close that. Test three, test three at gmail.com. Oops. Okay, so now we have the native Webflow. Um, the native Webflow submit su states success and error, and we can style those as we want, or we can redirect the user to another page. And to do that, we'll just come into form submit here, and we'll go to redirect, and we're going to take this FS form submit redirect, we're going to set it to true, and then we're also going to set the redirect URL. True. And come back here. Grab that. Let's say thanks. Now let's publish. Refresh. Test four. Test four at gmail.com. Please wait. And it redirects to our thank you page. And let's go back to MailerLite and just make sure we got all of our subscribers in there. Yep, we got test test two test three, and test four. So that's it. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. That helps me a lot. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.